Hello, today I'm going to explain work item form control. Uh, and for that purpose, I will open my ERP project, okay? And when I open it, I will go to boards. Today I will not explain the differences and how can you structure your boards here, but I will talk about work item for con form control. F so, no matter in which uh, uh, particular screen are you when you are in backlog screen, are you in boards, in backlogs, in sprints or work items, uh, when you open an item, you will have a form control. So let's go to backlogs. Okay, now you will see that in my backlogs, I have payrolls and epics uh, and uh, billing epics. Let me open payrolls. Under payrolls, I have payroll for domestic and foreign employees. When I open payroll for uh, domestic employees, I have one user story and I have some of screens. So let's open one epic, payrolls epic. For do that, I will right click and I will say open link in new tab. I can directly click here, but I want to show you what happens in a new tab. The same thing, of course, but let me show you. If I go here and I click on Epic, and if I now go back, you will see that I will go, uh, uh, I will uh, went, uh, I will come to exact the same screen from which I click on payrolls. But, okay, let me show you this. You can see that we have major, uh, main screen here, which is called Epic Details. Why it's called Epic Details? Because I modified this in, uh, in a way that it shows Epic Details. Let me show you here. If I go, for example, in Feature, in another tab, okay, it will be you will see here after it loaded feature details. And to see how to modify those, you should look at my video in my video uh, at my video, which, which is number nine, how to modify item layout in a project. Okay, let's go to Epic. So here in the major screen, you can put description and you can go to discussion. You have a state, you have a reason, which is automatically uh, connected to the state, okay. You have area and iteration. I explain area and iteration in video number six. Okay, now, this is about main screen. On the right, uh, uh, right part of the screen, you can add a link, you can add existing link as a, a, a work item as a link, and you can see all links here. So let me go here and let me choose a task. So if you look at the right part of the screen, you will see that I have successor, which is task seven, and I can see a parent. If I click, on the user story, okay, you will see that I have parent for this user story and I have childs. I have design a login screen, create a payroll, etc. etc. So my point is here you can see what uh, uh, ma uh, main topics like, for example, user story description, acceptance criteria, and in Epic, you don't have acceptance criteria. In Feature, you don't have acceptance criteria. And uh, Why? Because by default, they are not there, but you can always add a field in this main screen. And it was also, uh, also explain in video number nine how to modify item layout in a project. So this is the main, main screen, and if you follow my series of video, you are 
uh, you're pretty familiar with that. You will see that on the right part of the uh, 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 upper right part, I have few more tabs. One tab is history. So in history, you will see what happens in the history. So, Nenad, at 17th of May, I added work item as a child, okay? At 17th of May, I changed type of assignee to technician. Oh, I made field change, etc., etc. So here you can see the whole history. Let me go back here and let me change user story to clarification and let me save it. Okay. Now let me go to clarification and go to new, new and let me save it. Okay. And let me now add a comment. This is a comment. And let me save it. Okay. Here it is. And let me now go here. And I will go to more actions here on the comment. And I will delete the comment. Okay. So as you can see, and I will save it. Okay. Now, I change from you to clarification and back, I add a comment and delete the comment. Let's go back to the history and let's see. You will see that Nenat today, I made a change state from new to clarification. Then I changed state from clarification to new. Then I added the comment. Then I deleted the comment. So in history, you can see who did what on the uh, on the particular item, and also you can see on state graph, you can see that it was created and put in new, then moved to clarification, then moved out of state clarification to new. Exactly when? At 30th of May, which is exact today's date. Okay, the date of the recording. Here, I have links. So, here I can see all links. I can see parents and I can see a child. If I, and you can see those are clickable. So let's say that I am here and I say, okay, let me see. I can see uh, those uh, as well too. But this is the screen for the links dedicated to this link, uh, to, uh, to uh, existing links. So I can, let's say, go here and click on test on login application and I will go directly to this link. Now I'm going to go back. What I can do here directly, I can add a link. I can add existing item in which I will choose do I want to uh, 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 what kind of link type do I want? Do I want a branch? Do I want to build? Do I want a, uh, 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 something from GitHub? Or uh, do, uh, do I want something else? So you will see that I have a lot of, a lot of uh, uh, possibilities here. I can, uh, let's say for user story, I can choose another child. I can uh, say that this is duplicate, etc., etc. So basically here, I can choose the link type and I can, of course, choose existing item, which, has, which I'm not going to do that. Or I can see, as a user, I want to log into payload system for domestic employees so I can use the system, that I can maybe don't have a task. Let's say that I here test a login application using design screen, maybe, I need a task, let's say that uh, uh, I will put it, uh, uh, test a login application using design screen by the customer or end user. So let's say this is testing done by internal resources, by testers, by, but let's say that I want to test it by one, uh, 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 one of our customers who are going to use that. I can go here and I will say new item. 
you will see I am using a child type, okay, because it is what I want, but I can also change it, which I, I'm not going to, no, sorry, which I'm not going to do, okay, child, and I will say that this will be called test a login application by end user using designed screen. Okay, and of course, this is not application, this is application. If I click on OK, I will get a brand new screen, and in that screen, I should put everything what is required. User story, this is new user story, user story description, acceptance criteria, etc., etc. But I'm not going to do that because I will leave it because obviously I created something which is called a link. And I will, when I said new link, you see that I created user story. What I should do is create a task. I'm not going to do that, but I will show you. So let's say this is test. I will not going to save it, so who cares? Now, you will see this is task, and I have to make, uh, put here task description. Okay, if I don't want to do it, I will leave it, and okay. Sorry, leave it, leave it, go away. So here you can add links. Uh, from existing items and also from uh, uh, to uh, 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 you can uh, add a link creating new item and once again with this new item you can choose what kind of item do you want to create as a for example child bug epic so basically if I re we are in user story if we are going to create a parent, we are going to create a feature. If we are going to uh, uh, create a, a child, we are going to create task. And last but not least, here you can see attachment. So here you can add attachment. So maybe some documentation, maybe some other thing. So let me show you how to do it. So let's say... Now I'll close this one and this one, and I'm going to go back here, go back here. And let's say that I have here design a login screen, and that I want to put attachment for this login screen. So I'm going to go here, I will add an attachment, and I will go here, I will use my login screen, and here you can see login screen APG. If I, if I click on it, it will be opened. Okay, so you can put any number of document which you want. You can have them arranged by, uh, by this way, like thumbnail uh, view, or you can have it in list view. So basically, that's it, or it isn't. Let's go here. Here, you can, if you go up, up right, in the upper right corner, you can create new linked work item. You can change a type of item. Be very careful. So, if you want to change an uh, item, like for example, design a login screen that this is a user story, you can choose user story you can add a comment, okay, and I will say, I am changing the task to, uh, you, to the changing to the user story by, by purpose. Okay, changing, changing. Oh, I'm not native English speaker. Okay, and here it is. 
now I have acceptance criteria because this is the new, new type. I need a classification, type of assignee. But I made a mistake. I will change it back to a task. And I will say, I So, here it is. What do we have? It is task again. Okay, that's what he had. Let's go back to look some of histories. And you will see that here, for task, I have different kind of history. I, I, I can show you, I was, uh, this task was in new state, then in active, then in new. And it shown that it was activated by me. And then, strike through, that work was halted which means that I put it back from active to new. Let's go back here, what we have. So we can add new work, uh, uh, a new link work item, change the type, move to a, some other project. We can create a copy of this item. We can email this work item. We can delete it. And templates and customization is something which I am going to show you in some of my videos at once. So here, as a starter, you can see that on those three dots, uh, you can uh, copy this, uh, 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 cop create a copy of this work item, email it, delete it, create a new linked work item for this particular item on which you are now exactly, and I'm on task, we ca you can ch and you can change the type. So basically, there's a lot of things you can do spe uh, 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 for, uh, uh, for item in item form uh, uh, in which you are, and all they are same. So each and every item, no matter if this is user story, task, bug, or feature has detail screen, it has history screen, it has link screen, it has uh, attachment screen, and here you can do the same things with each and every item type, except the first details, which is and should be different because you will not require or have same information for user story, for task, for feature, et cetera, et cetera. To show you that, and this is the real end, you will see that for user story, we need user story description and acceptance criteria. criteria. Okay, and we can use story points for planning. But on the other hand, let me click on a task, which is child. Here, we need a task description, common. We don't have acceptance criteria for the task, but we can uh, we will certainly have original estimate, remaining estimate, and completed estimate. So that's all for today. Hope this video clarified work item form control. Next time, stay tuned. Board structure is expecting you. Have a nice day.